Nigerian squad. All right, Nigeria, led by Okpe Sylvester. And their sides, the manner in which they lined up. That is the team, Karabo Mutanka will be at the top for them. Who can say that I remained under the curtain comes down. First ball coming up, Wemo Kumalo. Great line, good start. The edge in that department. But it's not all about pace on these wickets. Wide, smashed over the top. That will be the first boundary. Very loose by Buemo Kumalo. And that will be as Nigeria, the entire side, under 30 years of age. The Isaac, or oh, clipped. Going round to find leg boundary. That will be back-to-back -back boundaries. And over correction by Buemo Kumalo. The overs, you know, those fielding restrictions. With an off again, offside. It'll be three boundaries in a row. Formidable partnership at the top in this part in this tournament. Too wide, and it goes all the way for four. Now it'll be four. Ex oh, there we go. Finger goes up. Twenty-one for one. A great delivery by Terry to Pereira. Back of a length, trying to cut it. Ideal situation for Botswana. A pish. Oh, and take it. Terindo Pereira completes a magnificent catch. Yeah, very soft dismissal by Ola Yinka. And in no course delivery, just on the straight. Trying to go inside out, but unfortunately just punching it. A bit too much elevation for him. Pereira completes the catch. Sixes at all in the tournament for Suleiman. Up in the air, man under it. Oh, then into the sun, ducks away. No, my word, that's the first time I'm seeing that kind of a fielding effort. He's wearing shades. I've never seen him wear shades at all, even back home. Cut away. This is what happens usually. You drop that man and they punish you with an offer this time. Chase for Michael. He takes the wrong angle. Really struggling to reel it in. Just gets it round. Great running from Nigeria. They get three runs. They need to be on the toes. Danladi is itching to put one out the ground. You can see him. Oh, lovely batting. He goes over the offside. That is exceptional batting. Helps it around the corner. Fantastic batting by Dunlady. That is a big hit. Deserved all it got and more. That's on a number of occasions in games where he just pulls away to get into the bowler's head. <laughs> Smacked away. Never before. Three men patrolling that leg side boundary, so he needs to bowl on the stumps. Just about. Oh, drop catch. Went quickly to the keeper. Sort of aim 160. Yes, at the current rate. Amp up things. Ah, neatly timed. That's a magnificent shot. Didn't try to hit it too hard, but they've really batted well. They've come down. They've been timing the ball well. Rotating strikes considerably. One short and packed away. Got to beat really now. Dishing up some. And over. He's dished up some. In different bowling. Oh, big appeal. Then bringing in an all rounder. Starts away with the freebie on the pads. And packed away. Wrong line with your fine leg up. Third ball of the over. Can they go and over without a boundary here? Spoken too early, and immediately they concede a boundary. Right here in the 12th over. Flight it up, that's it straight as an arrow. And that'll be back to back boundaries. 650. Magnificent hitting coming off 30 deliveries. He's been striking it well. You receive the applause. With some fairly ordinary going at nine and over himself in two overs. And that's a short ball. He goes 250 with a fantastic hit. Simum. Second one of the tournament for him. He moves on to 52 for the 15th over, but stop now. Yeah, hopefully two boundaries and over. That's what they'll be targeting. Oh, there we go. Immediately improvisation. We've seen him do that before in the tournament. 
And he gets saluted by his teammate Salim Salau. Not just a pump, but a heavy one. Goals for the same one. Now. This time he does place it well. That is four runs. Running away down to that cover point boundary. In fact, one is above 150, 170 to be specific for Dunlady Isaac. Smashed away. Oh, Save your legs. Moves. That'll be four. Floppy in the outfield. They've really sort of given in a little bit to that pressure. A massive one up in the air. This is out of here. Hence why he will only get two overs today. Another one by Dunlady. Running away from Pereira. Can he get the dive out? He does, but a little too late. And pedigree at test here. Use of the feet. Met up in there. Fielder under it. Takes the catch. Falling over. His average. Dunlady, what a sensational knock. Loose delivery a little bit. Came down the track. Slower ball. Didn't get all of it. Hit more of the toe and got a lot more elevation. Gatlo beat covering some great ground. Coming around. Settling himself. And taking a rip of a catch. Do do it. After a warning for sure. I think that's the way we grew up. Oh. Hits. Oh. What a beaut of a shot by Suleiman. Hitting his second six. Easy. But he's got to do the job. Oh. Opportunity for Kasaman. It's been a difficult tour for him. This time he takes the catch. Coming around, going deep in the crease, launching it in the deep. Kasiman settling himself nicely, eyes on the ball. Can Vincent launch a few? He goes big. It is traveling. Katlopit getting under it. What a catch! Katlopit, you beauty. Look at that. I have no words for this. Hit. Got a lot of elevation as well going on it. Covering a lot of ground in the deep. And then... At the last moment, one-handed effort into his strong hand, his left hand. Kasman, these young 18-year-old batters will also have to contribute. Last ball. Oh. And they try to run one. Great. They can only manage to get up to 181. Is what Botswana are looking at. Botswana will require 182 runs from their 20 at 9 and over. I think as a Peter Aho does come through with the first ball. Trying to clip that one off his pads. All and tentative then could be over very quickly. Karawo hits that one in the air. Who wants it? There is a man underneath it, but that will sail over. Odeke to Karawo, but Karawo gets it in the middle of the bat. And that will rattle just next to Nigeria's tent. A sign of intent from uh, Miss Karawo, who's been the quiet one, playing second fiddle. There's Scarabo for you this time round. Does it go all the way? Uh, Mohamed Taiwo. He's been dealing in boundaries. Scarabo, let's see what he does now. He finds another boundary this time round. He's through the covers. Isaac. Scarabo pulls. This time round, does he get another boundary? Yes, sir. Taiwo will chase, but Taiwo, like, has been the case. Out. Into voice mode. Cheeky. And there's a chance it is taken. The celebrations are high. 30 for one. See the replay again. Trying to walk with the pace. Gets inside the line. Trying to walk it towards the leg side. Pace that Isaac balls. I don't know why they're sending him there. Maybe it should be around mid wicket. He goes. Chance for a catch. Will he fall into the trap? Isaac Danadi drops a sitter. Not like him. He's much better than that. He's back in the hunt. Karabo hitting it very hard past the bowler. If you don't stop it as a bowler, it always have nothing. A gift from the heavens. He will clip that one for half a dozen. Because the pressure has been created by the bowlers. That's more like it there from Valentine Bazo. Gets inside the line and walks it behind. That's the boundary that Botswana needs. 
Karabo spoons it in the air. He won't get the 50 because Isaac Danladi. And this time uh, Isaac Danladi will not put him down in the slot. Not a bad option to go to. Just the execution was missing for Karabo and access the offside. They've lost. Now let's slow them down. Down Ricket. Timed well. Men under it. Taken on the boundary but dropped. Almost had it. Hence, he had to get rid of the ball. Keep it inside. And six has been signaled by the umpire. But put on your thinking cap. Big heave. Swing and a miss. Yeah, Valentine struggles come to an end. Good wrong in from Ridwan. Good point, Eli. Pereira is in a mode, a hitting mode. He wants to tee off. Oh, Reggie, and that is the wicket for Botswana. Sold him short. Looking at that again, Sylvester Okpe firing one in. Terindu Pereira trying to play it leg side. Presence of mind to get it. Aim for the base of the stumps. Good line in length. Build up the pressure on the Botswana batsman as Castle Man launches one. That's a massive hit into the second ground. He are set into his array of shots. Oh, outside edge. Reed one gets his third. Leaving his team. Five down. Having a look at that one again. He tried to cut it. It was too close to cut. Danladi falls short of 100 today. It would have been a magnificent 100 had he got there. Titi or Tatayane rather on the hit. Delivery on impact. This time he launches one. Another one. Will it go for the maximum? Umpire indicating a couple of bounces it is. Just free the hands a little bit. This time he goes big. Targeting the side screen. There's a man out there. He swallows it away, but he waited for it. The toe end only finds a fielder. Look at that. There. Toe end of the bat. Up in the air. Fielder under it. Down his throat. Oh. And that is five wickets for Kareem Ridwan. Murky waters for Botswana. Having a look at that again. Straight on of the lefty. Oh, and that's it. Final delivery. He gets a sixth wicket. Six wickets for Ridwan. He has now. After this game, he finishes off with figures of six for 22. Look at that. Take outside edge. Oh, short delivery. And that is a wicket outside edge immediately generated a lot of pace. The center thing is on the wall, or the writing rather. Coming down the wicket, trying to play. If Discipline's right. Get your Yorkers right. Get your variations going. That's a nick. Oh. That is good decision by the umpire. Yes. <laughs> it was a bit of hesitation, but Nigeria take the win here. They get fantastic performance by Nigeria clinical performance by Nigeria they wrap things up here but they celebrate what has been a fantastic game for them they finish off things winning by 77 runs